Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over how to dimension stuff in the isometric view plane in AutoCAD. So we're going to be going back to the isometric view plane for a little bit. And this video is going to be very similar to the how to create text in isometric view planes that I did about a month or two ago. So very easy, very similar, very simple. But there's a couple tips and tricks that um, I'm going to show you in this video. So with that being said, let's get into it. Real quick, before we get started, please consider subscribing below. We've seen a lot of growth in the channel recently, and it's awesome. We love to see it. If you find the video helpful, give it a like down below. If you want to see anything else done in AutoCAD, leave it in the comment sections below. And if you think this video could be helpful to someone else, please feel free to share it. All right, so just as a friendly reminder, this video is going to be very similar to the one we did with text. And you can find that up above. I'll leave a link to it up there and the first thing we want to be doing is we want to make sure we're in the isometric view plane which we are that is down here in your right corner and we have a square as you can see in front of us so what we want to do is we want to dimension this square and the first thing we're going to do to dimension it once we're in the isometric view plane is we're going to come up here to the annotation box and we're going to click on this um, thing that says linear it should say linear and we're going to drop that down and click aligned so once you have it clicking aligned, then you're going to want to click your dimensioner right here. And we're going to start dimensioning the square where we want the dimension. So we want one here. Uh, we'll say we want one here as well. And then we have the upright, the width, and then we'll take one on the back end too. Right here. Okay. So as you can see, and you know what, we are actually going to delete this one and we are going to put it down here just so you can get an idea of where it really should be. So as you can see, we have three dimensions on the square, but they are not uh, angled essentially like you want them to be. They don't really, you know, conform to the square in an isometric view itself. So to fix that, what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the command line and we're going to type in dim edit. Oop, let me get that down here for you. Dim edit. And then as you can see, once you have the dim edit field, we're going to click here and click oblique. Now, the next thing we're going to do is select the dimension edit we want, which is we'll just do this one first. We've selected it, we're gonna click enter, and then it's asking us uh, for an angle. So you can enter an angle, which we'll do right now. We'll just enter 30 in, click enter, and as you can see, that changed the um, dimension to the correct angle. But there is an easier way, instead of guessing what the angles are, so we're gonna control Z that, we're gonna do this whole thing again, we're gonna go to dim edit, right there, click oblique, we're going to click on this, then we're going to press enter. And then what we're going to do is actually we're going to touch these two points right here because this is how we want it aligned. And when I touch the second point or click on the second point, as you can see, it now shows that it's uh, in the correct oblique fashion, uh, isometric view 2D square itself. All right, so we're going to change the other dimensions too. And we're just going to go right back to dimension edit or dim edit. We're going to go right here. And then we're going to click oblique. We're going to select this one right here. And then we are going to click enter. And then we are going to select these two points. And as you can see, it is now, again, the oblique facing side of the isometric square. And then we are going to do the bottom one as well for this bottom one. Oop, we're going to unselect it. We're going to, again, type in dim edit. We're going to click oblique. Click the dimension and then click enter, and then we're gonna go right here, and we're actually gonna go up this time, right there. So as you can see, you have all the dimensions going in the correct isometric view plane that they're supposed to be. It makes it look a little bit cleaner. Pretty similar to the text, um, or the way to do the text function too. Uh, you don't have to input the number if you don't want to. This is you know kind of an easier way. You might have to play around with it a little bit. A little bit. Um, for example, when I have, we'll just control Z out of this. And if I were to click this and actually we'll go to dim edit again, 
I'm going to show you what it looks like when it doesn't work, and you just have to play around with it. But um, if I were to go from here to here, see, it didn't do anything. So you might have to play around with it a little bit, test some things out, and you should be able to get the uh, correct oblique face. So you can also do this um, dimension edit and uh, obliquing of the dimension itself in uh, other shapes or with other shapes, such as a cylinder. So here we have a, an example of a cylinder, and I've kept the center line in there to make it a little bit easier to just see some maybe cross-sectioning or be able to actually point to specific areas of it instead of making uh, guesses. And you'll see what I mean here in a second, but we're going to dimension it as well, and we're just going to make this a dimension. We want the radius. And then we are going to take the top dimension and we want it to match with that. So as you can see, we have 48 inches and then 12 inches right there. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go back. We're going to escape, go to dimension edit or dim edit again. Go to oblique. And then we're going to click on this one right here. Click enter. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go right here to right here. And as you can see now, it is in the isometric view plane for the radius, which is, again, 12 inches. And then we're going to do the same for the height as well, which is 48 inches. Um, we're going to go to Dimension Edit. Click Oblique, or this time you can also click down here. We're going to click Enter, or click the uh, Dimension, click Enter. And then what we're going to do is go right here to right here to force that that way. And as you can see here now, it is going directly towards the bottom and the top at 48 inches in the correct isometric view plane. So again, you can use this for more than just um, squares. You can use it for cylinders, circles, all of it. You just wanna make sure that the dimension edit is on, the oblique is on, and then you might have to play around with it a little bit. You can also enter in the angle number as well Again, it takes a little bit of brain power to do. For me, I just like playing around with it. And if it doesn't work properly or it's not the orientation I want it, I will just redo it until I get to that orientation. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video here. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the support that I've been given so far. If you want to see anything else, leave it in the comments section below. And I hope everyone has a good rest of their day.